you need to make x square the coefficient of x square to be 1 okay so you have to factorize the 2 out clear when you factorize the 2 out you're left with x square plus 4x plus 7 are you okay so from here the method will be because we want to change in this into a perfect square so a square plus 2ab plus b square i want to change it into a plus b whole thing square okay three terms i want to change to two terms in square all right this is under your note now so from here i will have to plus something square and minus something squared then the plus 7 I copy behind right this one will be the coefficient of the x always divide by 2 so it's 4 divided by 2 4 divided by 2 okay from here these three of them will change into this one okay x square become x plus here so copy the sign plus 4 divided by 2 is 2. Alright. This one simplify it. This is minus 2 square, right? So become minus 4 plus 7. So from here, you will have x plus 2 square plus 3. After you've done that, open this bracket. Okay. This is your perfect square. Yeah. So from here, how do you sketch the graph? From here, you equate to 0, x equals to minus 2. This is the line of symmetry. This is also your... Because this is a happy face, right? So it's a minimum point. So minimum point will be what? Minus 2, comma, plus 2. Okay? So you are going to mark this point now. The first point you have to mark is always the maximum or minimum point, right? So minus 2 and 2. Mark here. Okay? I know that this is a dish kind of shape graph. Okay? But this is not good enough, right? We need to go to the second point, which is the find the y intercept. To find the y-intercept, you just simply put x equals to 0 into the equation. The best is to put into the very first equation. So that is 2 times 0 squared plus 8 times 0 plus 14. I know that it is 14, right? So now I mark 14 on the graph. Yeah? Because I know that this is the line of symmetry, this is actually the line of symmetry. So from here you join to here. Clear? From here to here is 2, so you mark another 2 here so that your graph will look symmetrical. Clear? Because this graph does not cut the x-axis, right? So you don't have to go to the third step. There is no x-intercept, right? So you finish your graph. Understand? Okay, so this is